Oh baby, today we are going to look at Donnie Yen, the master of creating aesthetic beauty in choreography, and how he uses the same kind of lines you find in photography books. Look at this clip from The Lost Bladesman. He unsheathes his blade and the camera circles to show it being completely parallel with his leg. It's gorgeous. Then he raises it up and makes it completely parallel with his other leg and his upper arm. In The Lost Bladesman, Donnie Yen uses a lot of long weapons, not just swords or knives, and it's something he does intentionally because he knows that the lines he can create with them are exaggerated and gorgeous. He doesn't just save those beautiful moments for himself, he does choreograph it for his opponents as well. Watch the spear extend way outward. It's very difficult to have things line up to be perfectly parallel when it comes to live action, but the shot is very close to achieving having the spear parallel with the guy's leg. Camera angle plays a huge role in having this kind of parallel and perpendicular lines to create aesthetic beauty the way you would in a photograph. So if you're doing this kind of choreography, you need to discuss it with the director so they know what you're doing and can help. You don't want to choreograph something that's absolutely gorgeous and advanced and have it be filmed from an angle where it just disappears. See how Donnie Yen raises his leg seemingly for no reason, but it's better than doing some sort of super Hero pose. Again and again, and again and again and again. He blocks the spear and lifts his leg in a way that has his shin perfectly parallel with his own weapon. And as he spins towards his opponent afterwards, his weapon is continuously parallel with the horizon on the screen. That's right, these lines don't just apply to the weapon and the actual martial artist. They can also be used to line up with the backgrounds themselves and the sets. Here's a hidden gem of a fight scene of Donnie Yen in Highlander Endgame, using pretty much the exact same weapon. Again, he goes for a similar strike as in The Lost Bladesman and lifts his leg seemingly for no reason. But look at how both of his shins end up parallel and his thigh ends up parallel with the entire weapon. Not to mention he extends his other arm in the opposite direction of the strike so that it forms one continuous line across the screen with his weapon. And if you look more closely, notice how he is often striking or blocking at this downward angle, making his weapon parallel with the staircase right behind him. So again, we've got Donnie Yen's leg, both his arms, the weapon, and the stairs in the background all parallel. And then his lower leg goes perpendicular to all three of those lines. This is crazy how gorgeous this is from a photographic point of view. You don't have to do this for every move in your fight scenes, but it is really neat to keep in mind for one or two moments so that you can create something gorgeous that's not a superhero pose, that's a, a form of beauty within the movement itself, a form of beauty within a block or a strike without a stop to the motion, without beating the audience over their heads and saying, hey, look at this beautiful pose. Look at how they're standing. Isn't that pretty? Because I think audiences are sick of being beaten over the head with stupid friggin' superhero poses. You can do better, and this is the way. Donnie Yen has been doing this for years, and look at how beautiful it is. Would you look at that? These lines are just incredible. I'm not a fan of these spinning moves, but it is the beginning of a section where everything he does with the weapon is parallel to the floor. Not a big deal on its own, but a detail that adds up when combined with all the other great uses of lines in this fight scene. Look, the arm and the weapon, parallel. Both legs, parallel. Those lines perpendicular to each other. By the way, the arm and the weapon, parallel with the stairs in the background. Look, Donnie Yen is not doing this by accident. He knows that this is the master shot of the fight scene. This is the main shot that they will be cutting back to. They'll insert like a shot of somebody's face or a reaction or a little shot of the weapon here and there, but this is what they'll always come back to. So if he focuses on creating this kind of aesthetic beauty with the lines and make sure it lines up for this camera angle, then for the entire fight, anytime he creates this kind of beauty, they can cut back to this angle to show it. So you don't have to achieve this kind of gorgeous use of lines for every shot from every angle, just from something like your master shot. I mean, look at this, it's just gorgeous. Oh my god. Seriously guys, watch this fight from Highlander Endgame, it is such a hidden gem. He loses his weapons and then throws his arms out parallel to one another. And we're gonna see here, in hand-to-hand -hand combat, Donnie Yen has his trademark jumping spinning back kick. And I think the reason that it is gorgeous and works so well on film is because of this same principle with photographic lines. 
See how his legs line up to be parallel, and he even makes sure his lower arm is parallel. I've said it before and I'll say it again, Donnie Yen is the best out there when it comes to using photographic lines like you would learn about in any photography course. However, the easiest place to implement these kind of photography principles is in animation. Like this shot from Final Fantasy VII Advent Children, Tifa is thrown against this wall and her leg and upper arm run parallel to this line in the architecture. Her lower arm runs parallel to the other line, but nowhere has this been done better than in Monty Ohm's Ruby Red Trailer. If you want to check that out, watch this video here. And later on down the road, I'm going to be making a version of this video with these principles applying to theater and live performance. That is a video yet to come, but I highly recommend this one about how Donnie Yen and Jackie Chan really don't care about hits.